what is an apostolic anointing? I have no idea, sir. We actually tried to dedicate, I think, what's a three-hour program to this, and we asked people who probably run in those circles where those terms are used, and they most certainly can be our brethren, what is the anointing, and what is the apostolic anointing, and what is it? They've got all different kinds of terms of anointing, and never really received a clear response I think the reason for that is uh, some of it, I I fear, is made up. The other thing is it's not really clear in Scripture when somebody is anointed. Now, in the Old Testament, you had the kingly and the prophetic anointing, a term that meant the Holy Spirit really, if you will, was guiding them, leading them, helping them in a unique way. Not that the Holy Spirit was never active in the Old Testament. He most certainly was. But for the for the kings and for the priests and for the prophets, I think there was more of the Holy Spirit anointing. In the New Testament, you just, I just, I don't see it a ton, and it's not really clear what it is. There's anointing with oil, although we don't even know for sure what that is. Was it being used as some sort of a, a, a religious symbol to put oil on, that it represents something? Was oil anointing, putting it on somebody, which is basically what anointing means, was it because it was medicinal, that they thought there were healing properties in the oil, and they anointed people with the oil, and it would actually heal them? So, for instance, in the book of James, it's actually prescribing in chapter 5 that you practice medicine, as opposed to anointing with oil as a religion. And there's debate over that. So, sir, to answer your question, I ain't got a clue. And if you, by the way, if you want to call and explain it, really, I'm wide open. Because if it is something in Scripture that we are missing, I am very open to hearing about it. Just call one eight seven seven two eight two beep If I can just say this before uh, we begin the program, and this might make somebody mad. The apostolic part, anointing, separate issue. Apostolic anointing. There's no apostles today, so you can't be anointed by one. And if you call yourself one, you can't be one because you don't qualify because you haven't seen the risen Savior. So for that reason, sir, thumbs down in the apostolic anointing. 